So, to make my dumplings, I'm gonna need two kinds of ingredients. Dry and, well, not dry. Cup of flour, half cup of cornmeal, one tablespoon of sugar, two teaspoons of baking powder, one teaspoon of baking soda, and one teaspoon of salt. I wanna just make sure that the baking soda and the baking powder are really nice and mixed together. I wanna to avoid clumps. Looks about right. Now, the not dry. Two tablespoons of cold butter. It's important that you use cold butter because it's gonna make sure that our dumplings are real nice and flaky. So with your fingertips, Blend it in just a little bit, but you want to make sure that you still have some pea-sized pieces of butter So it's gonna really make a nice flaky dumpling There's really no other way you have to get your hands dirty and just kind of twist it a bit just like this Make sure it mixes in Okay, and now one cup and a quarter of milk I'm looking for a pretty thick consistency. I'm not making pancake batter, so I want this to, to really hold nicely on my spoon once I drop them in that hot oil. It's still a little bit too thick for me. Gonna add the rest of this, see how that goes. I think I went just a little bit too far here with my milk, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of flour. Definitely not a disaster, not the end of the world. All I wanna do is thicken that up. I like it to be just a little bit thicker and get nice, big, crispy dumplings. This is what I'm looking for. Absolutely amazing. Can't wait to fry it up. I'm finishing up my crunchy fried dumplings. My batter is ready to go. And I got an inch of hot canola oil sizzling away. Drop a spoonful in here. You need about one minute on each side, so I gotta move quick here. These are gonna be amazing. Look at that sizzle. You wanna let these go for a few minutes on each side until they're golden brown. These are so easy to make, they're so flexible. They're great for breakfast with maple syrup, bacon, eggs. First one here looks like it's about ready to go. Look at that. Golden brown, beautiful. Let me just check on the other side. These are looking really good. Pop these on a paper towel to absorb the excess oil. Man, these look good. Nice and crispy on the outside, moist on the inside. These are amazing. While they're hot, hit them with a little bit of salt. 